the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Walter White Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 8 losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Mickey Dahl. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 46 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Fort Coburn, Ontario, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. You ready? So here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship fight. All eyes on the champion as he looks to defend. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Fight through it. Fight through it. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fight. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. An attack an arm bar. He might get a finish here. Gone to an arm here. Attack an arm bar. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Gotta be 
check arm bar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Nice hammer fist. Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, looks like he's transitioning on ball. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's attack arm bar now. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. Oh, nice move with the bottom tags with the punch. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and he pins the arm down, and that is it. So the he tap got, comes shortly thereafter. He got the arm straight, right? The moment he was able to break the lock, John, his opponent was in trouble. Hip pressure up, opponent had to tap. And he tapped, and he lives to fight another day, but a huge win for his opponent by submission tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of it. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At four minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round, declaring the winner by tap out, and still, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, the Phoenix. All right, so there he is. He came in the hunted. He remains as such. Congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in retaining his title. One of the best welterweight champions in UFC history.